All right, it's Ron with another uh, episode of uh, Ron's uh, Beginner Guide to the uh, Mavic Mini Drone. Um, okay, I've got the uh, the Mini here. The Mini's on. The controller is powered on, and I have my uh, Mavic uh, Mini hooked up to it. And um, the Mini does work with the with the Mini. The Mini uh, Mavic works with the iPad Mini. I have another video where I show you all that, so uh, check that one out if you. Uh, Need to know more on that, but okay, we're going to talk about the um, the firmware update. Uh, it's this, uh, Sunday, uh, December eighth, and this week, uh, around the middle of the week, uh, this past week, uh, uh, the the mini, the sorry, the I keep say I can't say just the mini now. The Mavic Mini had a firmware update, a version 01.00.0300. Uh, it was released, uh, and uh, it had I think. It, had like six things in the um, in the in the ballpoint notes, but I'm going to go over the two things that were um, I don't know, the, the most significant in my opinion. So, um, okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to start a, a screen recording, uh, so we can add this to the video. Okay, our screen recording is going now, so we're going to go back here now. If you uh, if you don't know how to update your uh, Mavic Mini on the app, go over here to the three dots on the top uh, right hand corner, hit the dots, go over to the uh, back to the right to the about screen and uh, you can see where it says um, like the third thing down, aircraft firmware, check for updates now. Um, I already have it updated so I'm at the, the, I won't say those numbers off again but the big number I read off to you, it, it's correct so, um, but if, you, if we, we did hit it it would, uh, of course, I hit that and it's checking. It says my firmware is up to date down here in the in the database. I don't know why that. So anyhow, it, it knew my firmware was up to date, so it didn't it didn't go through the process. Now, if it wasn't up to date, um, a, a thing popped up and you saw like a circle and it filled in. And I'm going to say it took, um, you know, I can't remember less than five minutes to do the update. Um, and I did it on my home my home networks. Uh, faster Wi-Fi than my phone Wi-Fi. Your miles may vary if you use your um, data connection to your phone, but on your home internet, it, it took less than five minutes. Um, okay, now we'll, we'll update the, uh, the database here, see what that says. My firm is up to date there also. So I don't know why that message when I clicked up here appeared down here. Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, I don't know, that's an error where it tells me my firm update is down there in the database, but uh, the database is up to date and it's at uh, 0.100.01.17. So um, that's the current uh, fly safe database. And I, of course, I read the aircraft firmware update to you. Okay, so we're off to date now. Um, so let's uh, go back to the uh, main screen. So we're back here again. And um, here's the two things that were. Uh, I'm going to say the most significant for me, uh, down here at the bottom center, uh, you see that icon, it's like the radar, and uh, right now it's um, got dotted lines, it's blinking red with a line through the, uh, uh, I, I guess that's the icon of the, uh, uh, of the iPad in this case, or whatever device you're using, because I'm indoors, so I don't have any GPS lock or anything, um, but with that little, um, I'm going to call it radar. I don't know the technical term for it, but the little radar thing. It shows where the drone is in relation to where you're standing. So um, if you were flying a drone in front of you to the left, you know, it would be, um, you know, up here someplace, the little drone. And, um, you know, if it were, you were flying in back of you, it would be over here. Just, you know, it lets you know exactly in the sky where the, uh, where the drone is. So that makes it kind of easier to... Um, get orientation and bring it back manually. So before, um, you know, all of us have been out in the field and, um, you know, you would look down at that little radar thing and the drone wasn't, wasn't where, you know, the, the indicator in the screen was saying it was, it was, uh, I won't say it was inaccurate every single time, but it, you, you couldn't depend on it to, to locate the drone for you. So, um, this is a nice update. And I'm next time I'm on the field, I will, um, do a demo for you unfortunately again it's december here on the east coast so uh most days you can't go outside anymore it's either raining snowing uh, 
uh, windy beyond flying. So, but I, I will get out one of these days and show you how that works. And um, also, nothing to show you on the screen here, but um, oh no, I can show you the screen. Okay, we're going back to the dots again here, and we're going to go over to the left here at the top. It's a safety thing, and see where I have, I have auto return to home altitude. It's the um, I'm going to say the third option down, and I have it set at 30 meters. Before, at, uh, at one point, uh, every time, before this update, firmware update, uh, I won't say every single time, I don't check every single time, but most times you would go to it, and it would be set to whatever the factory default was, and not to where you put it. It would keep moving it, and it was kind of too low. I, I forget if it put it at zero, or just some real low thing like 10 meters, but anyhow, it put it too low, so if you had to return home, it'd fly back possibly lower than you would have wanted to if you didn't remember every time to move it back up to a safe a safer height. So um, anyhow, that that's been fixed here. So um, that's a good thing. And uh, one of the other bullet points was it it made it um, fly more stable. And I always thought it flew stable, anyways. I mean, any 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 improvement in stability is good, but it was already very stable. And I know it. Uh, one of the bold points was it it, uh, it flew better at higher altitudes, which um, I, I live on the coast here. I'm, I'm I think I'm six feet above sea level here where I live in the at the Jersey Shore. So I I couldn't really test that out, and of course I didn't have any issues with it since I was so low. But I mean that is important for people that live in ha higher altitudes, even people who visit or vacation at higher altitudes. So it, it's good that was fixed too. And, and there's a couple other bullet points that I can't remember here, but I, I just want to touch on some of the more uh, ones that uh, affect, uh, uh, you know, me and, and a lot of people, uh, a lot of the audience. So um, that's basically it. That's how you uh, do your updates for the um, Mavic Mini, uh, just with that tab. And uh, you could do them on the field with your uh, phone's um, internet, but of course if you do it at home, it'll go faster with your, your home network's greater uh, uh, bandwidth. So, um Okay, that's it for this little segment, and we'll um, see you back on the next one.